And good evening, hockey fans. We welcome you to the Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium for game number four of the Herder Memorial Trophy Championship Series between the Southern Shore Breakers, the Grand Falls, Windsor, Cataracts. Southern Shore Breakers find themselves in a deep hole. There's an old saying that says the longest journey begins with a single step. Well, for the Breakers tonight, they need to make that first step. They're down by three. They cannot afford to lose another game, obviously, and it is a long journey back, but they will give it a shot tonight and see if they can extend the series to tomorrow afternoon. Let's come up inside of our Canadian Tire broadcast booth. Hi, everyone. George Scott, Robert Golden getting set for this game. Will this be the end of the season? Will the Cataracts raise the herder tonight, or will the Breakers send it to a game tomorrow? I guess it will all unfold in front of us in the next two to two and a half hours. George, you open up by saying they can't afford to, uh, to lose another game, uh, and I'll even go as far as say it's important that they don't lose a shift or a period. And I know that that sounds, you know, quite, quite large, you know, it's magnified. But, you know, if you think about it, the more shifts you win, the more periods you win, the more games you win. And I know that is so, is, it's a cliche, but it's so important. And the other thing that I think that they really need to do tonight, they need to defend aggressively. They didn't defend yeah. aggressively last night. They didn't defend bad, but they defended to the point that, and especially when you're behind, you've got to defend a little bit more aggressively. I mean, that doesn't mean that you've got to take really bad chances, but you've got to take some chances. Yeah, a couple of interesting turning points in the game last night. First period, you and I both agreed the breakers came out and had the best of it. Couldn't score, so. and they had the more puck possession than the cataracts, I thought, throughout the game, but there were those two plays where the cataracts broke out one day uh, alex daly stole the puck here at center went in and scored down this way and then yeah. coming back the other way in the third andrew brennan stole it and a quick breakout none of their goals came from or so, I should say neither of their goals came from prolonged uh, pressure in the other team's end it was quick yeah. breakouts and of course the other one was the the botched pulling the goaltender out at the end of the game when they were down by two with still just under three minutes to go yeah it was two and a half yeah, minutes left you give yourself a chance but they Made a mess of it, ended up with too many men on the ice, and that, that killed any hope of a comeback. Yeah, they, you know, the, the cataracts ended up being very, very lucky on the, the Daly goal because he was late getting on the ice, as we talked about. And because yeah. of that, he was able to pick up the puck in the neutral zone and basically went in on two on all. The other one was a poor decision by the defenseman on a pinch, George, over on the left boards. The puck is on the strong side, which means the defensive side, and, you know, Andrew Brennan made a chip. But the thing is, the, the defenseman went for it, just tried to put a stick out there. You've got to get in his way, that means Andrew Brennan's way, or you've got to get the puck. You can't miss both. And he did, and it resulted in a breakaway coming down, and Andrew made a move coming across, and it looked like goaltender Mark Gittman over pursued and played it and went into the, to the empty side. Not many changes in the lineup. I'll, I'll quickly do uh, Southern Shore Breakers because it's easy. No changes. <laughs> they had the exact same lineup they had last night and the same lineup that they, that they had last Sunday. Uh, one change for the Cataracts. Yeah, so the Cataracts are going to go with their full complement of 20. They're going to insert Jason Sanders today for to have their full complement of uh, 20 players. Uh, and Michael Hines is still out, and so is uh, um, Scott, Scott, Cantwell. Scott Cantwell. They won't be available, as, as everybody knows. And uh, Brad Lewis will be behind the bench again tonight, dressed, but acting as an assistant coach. Yeah, he makes up the, the 20th player. He, he, is he, in, uh, he is in uniform. I don't believe we have any presentations prior to uh, tonight's game. I don't see any. Red carpet going out. No. Sometimes no. we're not informed of these things. Sometimes we are. I must say, last night they, they brought up the script to us and yeah, it was really nice told us everything night. that was happening. So it's just the uh, <coughs> excuse me, just the uh, starting lineups. John Thompson doing the introductions, and we'll be underway. Uh, should be a big crowd tonight. Uh, I was told the crowd last night was uh, just under 900, and uh, they're expecting a thousand or more here tonight uh, for this game ticket sales were going pretty briskly apparently at five o'clock when they opened the the box office for for the walk-up tickets and you know george uh, each year when we leave the year in april or march or february in some years uh, <laughs> depending on well, how yeah, it goes <laughs> we're never quite sure what's going to take place the following year and uh, this might be our last game for a while and uh, we hope that is not hmm. uh, but uh, you know the thing is is that uh, from one year to the next year in newfoundland senior hockey we we certainly don't know but uh Hopefully, uh, this bodes well for uh, H&L and uh, their future, and uh, hopefully we'll have senior hockey for years to come. Yeah, again, you know, we've talked about you never know what you're going to get in senior hockey until the teams hit the ice, but I can I can tell folks that 
who say, oh, it's done, it's done, it's over in Central. It's not done yet. I no. can tell you there are a lot of talks happening. There are a lot of scenarios being discussed. Uh, I know from the Cataracts perspective, they are already gearing up for next year if it's, no as if it's going to happen, yeah. talking about <clears throat> personnel and who, who can be back and who they might be able to bring in. Uh, it's business as usual for the Cataracts right now. And let's hope that uh, everybody gets together in the June meetings and that and works out a scenario to bring about uh, hockey here in Central. It's a great product, George, and uh, it would be very sad to not see it, but I, uh, I anticipate that there will be senior hockey and there will be senior hockey here. All right, we are set now for the national anthem, and then we'll get underway in game number four. Okay, once again, we welcome you inside the Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium in Grand Falls, Windsor. Game number four, Cataracts and the Breakers. Cataracts lead this Herder Memorial Trophy Championship Series. Three games to none. They could wrap it up tonight for the Breakers. They want to prolong this series at least until tomorrow afternoon and then try and send it back to the East Coast next weekend. George Scott, Robert Golding with you. This webcast is brought to you through 360 Live Productions, powered by... Bell 5 TV 1 and George Scott Communications. Okay, here we go. Breakers in the white jerseys. Cataracts in the dark green. Fowler picks it up for the Breakers. Doesn't get it in over the blue line. Sims brings it out for the Cataracts. Throws it down into the corner. Fowler back there first to pick it up. Brings it around the boards. Lindstrom back in behind the goal. Yetman looking for it. Michael Cole. Back at the point, Brent, slap shot, save made by Yetman, and he'll cover it up, top of the blue paint. Any shot's a good shot, George, you want to get as many as you can, as quickly as you can, and the little turnover resulted in a loose puck coming right out to Mike Brent, who was able to get away a good shot, but goaltender Mark Yetman, no screen, and was able to make that with relative ease. Cataracts win the faceoff. Lindstrom throws it. Into the near corner. Brent pinching in. Fowler a little slow to move on it. Brent got to it first. Played it in. That's stolen. Going for it is Yetman. Patty Yetman back at the point. Brent. Another shot. Scores! That's one that the goaltender Mark Yetman has got to have. Two turnovers, George, right away. 44 seconds in. The Cataracts take a 1 0 lead. He they had total possession of the buck, that being the breakers, and they just were slow getting to you. were matching about. Fowler was a little late getting there. Turn the puck over. Mike Brank is able to. The half. A good start for the Cataracts. As they had the breakers pinned in their own end through the first bit. A little bit reminiscent of last Sunday afternoon's game. Cataract scoring in the first minute. Forty-four seconds. Hey boy, Dave Grimes wound up there tonight. Yes, he is. Shot out of a cannon for this one. See, 
announcer announcing the goal. Spoke to him just part of the game. He was having his pregame meal. Nice fries. <laughs> As we all do. <laughs> I was talking to the Cataracts coaching staff before the start of the game. They said one of the big things they wanted was get to a, a better start. They didn't think they had a good start last night. And they, they never. They wanted to jump on the breakers early. When you're up three to nothing, don't give them a chance to think that they can come back. That's part of the psychology of it. And worked out well. It is a mind game. Dally had a goal last night out there with Brennan, who had the other one. Two players who did not play out in Tor Bay with the two goals for the Cataracts last night. That Brennan hasn't played since Christmas. Kavanaugh dumps it in, bouncing puck with him. Confidently plays it over to Lindstrom. Cadigan. Peter Kavanaugh up over the blue line. Some fans, I think the Cataracts bench calling for an offside. They look like I, Nicholas may have been in slightly ahead of the play. I thought so. A little delay move there, and I think he might have been. Cadigan throws it in front. Weak shot cleared away by Whiffen. Dalton in there looking for it. Sims gets a stick on it, moves it up ahead to Brennan. He moves it further up ahead to Bussy, and that line will head off. Dalton at center, pokes it in over the blue line. Roddy short, hired off the glass. It'll be picked up there by Yetman. Good job by Dalton to get back. Dalton missed it, shot back in again. Yetman threw it right out in front. Mark Yetman got a stick on it, the goaltender. So I hear the stick in the blue paint, George. I'm not quite sure if he knew what it did. Power. That went off of Patty Yetman. Up through the middle. McCarthy couldn't handle it. Short has it again. Short up at the blue line. Cole couldn't quite handle it. I'm going to say hello to Mike Cole's grandmother, Mrs. Badcock, out in St. John's. Never misses a game. And that being said, George, I spoke to Danny Witz's mom, and he said, can you wish Danny's grandmother a night as well? And we certainly would. All right. So and do. Michael Cole and Danny Wicks got the, the grandmoms look at, looked after. And a shout out to Mr. Jared Butler, Dr. Jared Butler, part of the Cataracts team. Doctor for a number of years is enjoying the fruits of his labor down in Florida, George, I believe. What a time for him to go. I think he might be down there thinking that turnover outside the blue line. Cadigan steps into it. Wicks got back and got a stick there just in time to disrupt it a little bit. The shot went wide. Not sure if he's watching the Habs down there in Florida, George. I was in the... Uh, Coaches from early, and two young gentlemen walked in and said, who are they? I haven't seen them before. They said, they're a couple of doctors filling in for Jared. It took two of them yes. to do Jared's job. <laughs> Jeremy Nicholas. Trying to get it back. Comes back down low. Fowler, or sorry, Kavanaugh. Left it for Ryan Power. In front, it was tipped by Kennedy. Didn't get through. Cataracts have it. Dally off the boards. We'll go just wide and it'll be an icing call. Let's get in our first break while we can. Truck Month is back at Riverview Motors. Now is your best time to get into a new GM truck. Get 0% financing for up to 84 months on the 2019 LD Silverado and Sierra Limited double cab. Plus $6,500 in credits. View the 2019 Silverado Custom and Sierra Elevation models, both with special 36-month lease offers from $109 weekly. More truck offers at Riverview Motors, Grand Falls, Windsor, celebrating 50 years in business. Kept in over at the right point by Bussy. Dally couldn't corral it down in the corner. Comes up along the near boards, picked off at the blue line by Bussy, sends it back in. Cataracts will change. Sims and Cole come out. Bussy is still out there. Hodge turning. Can get away from Cole. Hodge in over the blue line. Spins. Chris Hodge doing great work. Great pass. They throw it around and it comes out over the blue line. Sent back in again. Whiffen had a go between his skates. 
Nick Lindstrom was about to get it and went between the skates. We've had uh, some miscommunication last night and again early today. No harm, no foul. Power dumps it in right to Whiffen. Big juicy rebound. Chafe didn't get much on the shot as he got to it. Cole over the blue line. Sims heading for the front of the goal. Pass comes to Sims. Fed in front. Kicked away by Yetman. Patty Yetman trying to get it out in front. Yetman's got it again. Patty Yetman, good pass back to the point. Sammy Hounsel. Hounsel hesitated, got it to Brent. Brent with another slap shot. That one looking short side. Rebound comes out, kept in by Hounsel. Yetman. And Brown. Chafe in there. Sims looking for it. Chafe has got it. Chafe will backhand it out. That will go all the way down the ice. And this time... It will be an icing call against the Breakers. 13-24 to go, first period. George, talking about defending aggressively on our outset when we are talking about the pregame, and that was a prime example right there. Michael Cole's over on the right-hand side. It's a puck that's in the neutral zone, but the defenseman for the Breakers, Brown, backs up and gives up way too much ice. It allows him to bring in the puck, that being Cole. Got to go and get that puck. McGurk to Gill. Gill watched by Cadigan. Tried to play it out in front. Puck comes off the boards. Short will hold it in, for, fed it in front. Gill got a stick in her, McGurk rather. Tipped it wide. Kept in by Wicks. Over the far side. Keenan Kennedy hustling over there to get their first four of the breakers. Following up on it is Jeremy Nicholas. Nicholas trying to work in front. Hounsell got a stick on it and cleared it out. Job by Roddy Short to stay with Jeremy Nicholas. Saw him make a great move last night. Beat a couple of cataract defenders. Down the ice, right to Whiff, and he'll cover it up, and we'll get a face-off. Shots on goal, 4-3, favoring the Cataracts. Yeah, Nicholas had a couple good games last week. He's uh, He possesses some real strong skating ability, particularly to the outside. Lots of people can get to the outside, but he takes the puck from the outside and comes back in the middle. He made a great move last night. Got the puck over, thought we were going to have a, himself a goal, but uh, it was a good play by the defenseman. Cataracts clear it out. Steven Oates made the pass. Power. And again, easily cleared out by the Cataracts. Oates looking for it, gets it over to Power. Up to Thibault. Thibault gets away from Hoff. Thibault drops it back. Hodge back in in front, he scores! Tipped! Dalton! And George, that's a result of a missed check in the neutral zone. The puck got turned over. Resulted in a three-on-two down low. Greg Hoff was not able to get back into the play. Not only does the puck come to the forward, George, I don't even think he... Reese, and as a defenseman, you cannot allow the guy to skate in front of you. If he's behind you, fine. The defenseman for the counteracts allowed him to skate in front. Got the tip. Goaltender A.J. Whiffen never had a chance. Tied up 1-1. One, one. Big goal for the Breakers. They gave up one in the first minute, but they've come back with one here. Helps for their confidence. And we're tied again. Cadigan. Right on the stick of Kennedy. He's squeezed out of the play by Sims. Kavanaugh kicked it back to Cadigan. And Daniel Cadigan with it again. And back to Peter Kavanaugh. At the blue line. Sims plays it back. Short around the boards. Yetman. Gets it out, down to the Breakers blue line. Cadigan tipped it up ahead, knocked down by Brent. Brent's got a cut up in his gear. Now he shakes it loose. Brent in over the blue line, off the end boards. Came out in front, but Aylward was there. Cadigan quickly up ahead. They move it through the middle. Kavanaugh. Matthew Oates fell down in the corner. Cole kicks it free. Gets it to Yetman, and Yetman again just forced to get rid of it. Power, long shot in, blocker save made by Whiffen, chipped off the boards and it'll come out. Brown, back to Power. That hit Brent at the blue line, Power quickly swings it across. Matthew Oates will clear it in. Short and Chafe go into the boards. Another pretty good shift here by the Breakers. Gill gets it out to center. Power. Lindstrom to McGurk. McGurk drops it back. 
Hard shot by Wicks. Yetman makes the save and covers up. Danny Wicks scored from a very similar position when we were in Torbay. George, that one there just to the goaltender's right, coming down on the weak side and able to get a good quality shot away. Very much an easy save for goaltender Mark Yetman. This is the character of this Breakers team, Robert. They, they got down early, but they they keep coming at you. Yeah, they bend, they don't break. And they get one back. Wicks tears it in. They'll go out of play. They're a hard-working team, George. We watched them uh, when they were here earlier in the year. And, uh, you know, one of the things, even though they may not have the skill set of some of the other teams or whatever case, they do not take shifts off. I've been watching them, you know, this is going on five games now, and they really battle and battle hard each and every shift. I find that they are quick through the neutral zone. Yeah, they got some real good skaters there. Yep, they move the puck quickly, and the breakouts are crisp. Cadigan will shoot it in. It's hard around the glass. Comes here to the near boards. Bounces out in front. Brennan off the boards. Just gets rid of it. Oates sends it back in again. And very much like in the first period last night, Robert, most of the play down to our right. Yes. After that first shift by the Cataracts where they came out and got that goal in the first minute. It has been, George. Brennan. Takes it back behind his goal. Andrew Brennan. A bit of room. Backhand pass. Off the mark. Thibault backhanded in. Wide to the goal. Go down into the corner. Hounsel gets it out. At this point, Cataracts are just getting the puck and dumping it out. Yeah, well, the breakers throwing it back in. It was an ill advised pass coming out for Andrew Brennan to begin with, George. He needed to go to the weak side, not the strong side. And, of course, because of that, he's on his backhand. Just a weak pass. Dally. To the blue line, stopped up there, and the breakers turn it over and head up the ice. Fowler, Bussy's on him. Fowler doing good work, controlling the puck out in front. Nicholas with a shot, scores! That's a misplay for A.J. Whiffin, and he knows it right away. He puts his leg in, it goes underneath him. But, George, what it was was a turnover. The Cataracts did not get the puck in deep. Bussy was coming back on the back check, was not able to get to the guy, and he continued to try to hound him. But the breakers stayed with the play, and it Or at least underneath the right pad. So two to one. Now for the breakers. Great response after giving up that early goal. Two goals in less than a couple of minutes. And we talked about how all the play was down there and eventually it paid off. Sims will backhand it in. Wave it off. I think he might have had a stop. So that's your breakers goals. Goodbye. Number 16, Jeremy Nicholas. Yetman. Back at the point. Lindstrom with a shot. Yetman made the save. He got the blocker on it. Rebound taken by Kavanaugh and played out. Lindstrom, Nicholas chasing after him. Lindstrom off the boards. Up ahead and Cataracts break out. Caught up and there's a stick out on the ice that may have helped. Here's Brent, had it hop over stick. Now allowed to walk right in. Rebound was there. Yetman made the save. And that was a bit of a mess. Well, it was another bad <laughs> pinch by the, the Breakers D-man, George. You see it's three green jerseys coming in full flight and you decide to pinch. You just can't do that. I think that they got a break because of the stick. Yeah, the Cataracts almost had a four-on-one, but it, the puck hit that stick that was lying on the ice, and they never did get a clean pass away. But then it came out to Brent, and he was allowed to walk in on and Pete and got away a pretty good shot. Yetman made the save. Now here come the breakers again. Chafe in over the blue line. Chafe, shot, save made by Whiffen. Beard is on it. Beard back at the point. Comes out. Picked up by Roddy Short. Short in over the blue line. Short. He was taking himself, trying to get around Oates, gets the backhand away. Save was made by Yetman. Off the boards, here's Beard, working against McGurk, and McGurk knocks down Beard. Pretty good defensive play for a forward there. And then Hounsell ran into the referee, and the referee went down. A lot of tumbling going on here now. I like this game. <laughs> <laughs> referee just he's he's gonna get, get out of here. He's gonna get hit again. Another shot save. Whiffing this time, no rebound. Oh. Lots happening on that shift. There was a lot happening. There was a number of bodies, both with the black and white jerseys and the green and the, the white. And the thing is, is that they, they had a great opportunity again, that being the breakers, to come back and score another quick one, George. And uh, AJ Whiffin had to be very sharp to prevent the breakers from going up 3 1. 
Lindstrom around the boards. Brennan waiting for it there. Chips it out. Hustling to get to it. Brandon Bussey. Bussey in over the blue line. Working against Cadigan. Cadigan stays with him. Cadigan goes down. Puck comes back at the point. Lindstrom. Back down in deep. Bussey's waiting for it there. Bussey fed it out in front. Nobody there for the Cataracts. And the Breakers will clear it. Daly. Steals it at center. Daly. Pass a little bit too far for Brennan. Brennan takes it off the boards and get a lot on it. Comes out. And the breakers on it first. Clear it out to center. Lindstrom to Daly. Brennan hustle to stay on side. Comes to Brennan. Working in along the boards. Down to Bussey. Bussey back at the point. Lindstrom. Shot. Glove save. Yetman's got it. And holds on. And George, you see the puck possession down low now. And one of the things you talked about probably... You know, for four or five minutes, the Cataracts seemed like they were chasing the puck and never had a lot of good puck possession. And, of course, it resulted in a couple of goals for the Breakers. This time, the last two shifts, the Cataracts have had a little bit more puck possession. Quicker shifts, I think, is as a result of that, George. 35, 40-second shifts are important. Kennedy fell down, quickly got up, got it to Nicholas. He gives it back to Kennedy. Kennedy was looking for Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh back at the point, but power was out at center. Kennedy's got to shoot that puck, George. He was in a good shooting spot right between the hash marks. Kavanaugh. In Cole battle. Good battle along the boards. It comes out. Kennedy has it. Kennedy turning. Sims missed him, and Nicholas has got it. Jeremy Nicholas. Nicholas with a shot. Good shot and a good save by Whiffen. Got the left pad down. Comes off the end boards right out in front. It's still loose. Referee down in the corner couldn't see it. It's never covered up. Whistle goes. 5.31 to go. 2-1. to one, Southern Shore Breakers. These Southern Shore Breakers are coming out hard each and every shift, George. I talked about a couple of minutes ago that they never quit on a shift, and we can... Quite evident here the last three shifts in a row. They are really dog determined to get pucks in deep and to get some quick shots on goaltender A.J. Whiffen. Their team speed tonight, George, seems like it's a little bit better than last night. And yeah, they look very quick tonight. Hounsel. Oates couldn't hold it in. Wicks trying to get an angle on it. Plays it up ahead to Gill. Gill in over the blue line. Snap shot. Rebound is there for McGurk. McGurk with a shot. Yetman made the save. Couldn't cover it up. But good job there by Mark Yetman to come across and make that save. Lindstrom swinging away. Lindstrom stopped by the linesman. Puck comes back in behind the goal to Lindstrom. To McGurk. Oh, McGurk tried to feed it back and fanned on it. Now it's McCarthy. He'll get the return pass in over the blue line. Following up on it is Cadigan. Swept it towards the goal. It's loose there and poked wide by Beard. Beard's on it over in the far boards. Watched by Hounsell. Good pass back at the point. Oates, Oates. That was blocked by Wicks. Get it in front. Breakers buzzing again. Hounsell on it. He'll get rid of it. Cadigan right back in again. This one stays in behind the goal. Lindstrom up ahead. Tipped in. Cataracts just aren't matching Southern Shore Breakers with team speed thus far. Tried the long stretch pass for Thibault. Short's got it. Gives it to Bussy. Gill takes it off the boards, or Daly that is, rather than with Brennan. Daly with a shot. Big rebound for Bussey. Partially fanned on it. It fluttered wide. That's a couple big rebounds that Yetman's done now. George has quite uncharacteristic. Whiffen's got that. Holds on to it. I'm going to grab another quick break here. Kelly's Bar on Hill Road is the place to be in Grand Falls, Windsor. They've got a fully stocked bar to suit anybody's taste, including six varieties of draft beer on tap. There's always a friendly staff on hand to serve you with a smile and a big, beautiful outdoor deck. Watch their Facebook page for daily specials, karaoke every Thursday evening, and of course, Kelly's is famous for its live music every weekend. Something for everyone at Kelly's Bar, Hill Road, in Grand Falls, Windsor. And Robert, as we were in commercial, the Breakers get another one. Another turnover on the boards which resulted in coming back into the middle of the ice. Cataracts got caught puck watching, and boom, back of the net. And of course, A.J. Whiffen is down there now, wondering what's going on. And as are the Cataracts and the Cataract bench in the faithful. 
it was a great start for the Cataracts. They scored less than a minute in, but it's been all breakers since then. Three goals here in the first period. They aren't going away, George. Someone better let somebody else know that this team is for real. Sims clears it in. Aylward. Cole. Southern Shore Breakers goal scored by number 44. Peter Cavanaugh got the goal. Nicholas gets an assist. You can feel a little bit of a buzz here in the building as the team, the home team, came out strong, but now find themselves in a hole down two. Beard off the boards. Wicks has got it. Up ahead to Yetman. Yetman's got to wait for it all alone. He's knocked off the puck by Oates. McGurk follows up on it. McGurk is in there. McGurk trying to get it out in front. Cleared away by Oates. Off the boards and out. That will go just enough to get over the goal line. It'll be an icing call against the Breakers. Under three to play here in the first. Cataracts haven't been uh, in this position since the uh, middle part of game number one. We were down by a couple of goals. They were able to rebound and come back. And we'll see what kind of character they got here now. Of course, we're only into the first period, but I really like the way that the Breakers are playing here tonight. They're coming, you know, as you've said before and we've said before, what else have you got to lose? Council off the glass, hits the mesh, hits on the mesh. The faceoff will come outside the blue line. You mentioned when the Breakers went up 3-1 to one early in the second period of game one. They had only scored one goal through the next eight periods Yes. after that. And uh, that was, you know, a big problem, scoring goals. Well, they've got a solution here this evening. They have certainly have. got three here in the first. Getman will cover it up. We'll get another face-off in the breakers' end. Uh, George, I've got to go back to, you know, what the breakers have done the previous 15, 16 minutes is not what you just saw them try to do there. That's long pass up the middle. You've got three green jerseys in the middle. There's nowhere for them to go. And that's why the puck gets right back down. You've got to have puck support. Come down low. We've been seeing the 25, 15, 25 foot passes, not the 65ers. They're not going to work. Back of the point. Short. On goal. Jetman just got a piece of it and tipped it wide. Breakers are a man short because of the stick gun. Uh, Nicholas has got a new stick. McGurk lost it to Cadigan. Cadigan took it away, and Cadigan. Good pass. Kennedy up ahead. Nicholas. Nicholas, shot. Comes back at the point. Fowler looking for it. Knocked away from him. Gill into the middle for Wicks. Cadigan got back to break that up. Cadigan lugs an awful lot of ice time. Tremendous. Wicks and, threw it in front. And plays well. Short, down in the corner for Gill. Gill, off the skate, out in front. Breakers have it. Get the center, cleared in, that was Cadigan. George Fowler had an opportunity to get that puck earlier. He just was too slow moving on it, and then when he did get it, he tried to make a move instead of just dumping it in. It resulted in a two-on-one against. Got to be a little quicker. Lindstrom turning down in the corner. That hit Dally in the skate. And Chafe has got it in over the blue line. Poked in a little further. Oates. Fed it out of first tip. That hit the goal post. Breakers coming close to making it 4 1. Had the goaltender beat. Dally. Bussy. Only a minute to go here in the first period. McCarthy skating away with it. McCarthy working against Mike Brent. Brent takes him to the boards. Breakers come up with the loose puck. Back to McCarthy. McCarthy with a shot. That one off the stick of Brent. Stays in play in behind. Whiffing off the boards. Bussy gets to it and clears it out. Big hit over in the far boards. Both players go down. Shot in. That was Oates and Bussy. Both a little slow to get up. Bussy slow getting back to the bench. Cataracts with a little sloppy change. Breakers with a chance. Dumped in, 20 seconds to go. Kept in, another chance, Dalton shoots, save made by Whiffen. Dalton again in front, is tipped just wide. Breakers buzzing 
Oates, shot, tipped, knocked down. Yetman's got it, time's gonna run out. Great period by the breakers. Cataract's lucky to be down only three to one. You talked about time running out. Time ran out just in time for the Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts in that particular series. They had three opportunities, George, with 30 seconds or less. They all even scored at 23, min 23 seconds, 16, then had an empty net and just missed it off to the side with seven and a half seconds left. And just prior to that, they hit the goal post and on a deflection. They certainly did. <laughs> wow. There, there was a lot going on, George. Uh, uh, to me, it was the best period for, you know, for action-wise in the four games that we've seen, thus, well, three and a half games that we've seen thus far. Really an entertaining first period. Cataracts get on the board early at 44 to second mark. Mike Brent from Yetman and Sims. Then the Breakers come back with three unanswered goals. 742, Dalton from Hodge and Tebow. And at 1048, we had Nicholas from Fowler. And then at 1610, we had Kavanaugh from Nicholas. Shots and goal after one period of play here at DeJoe. 1311 in favor of the Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts. All right, we are going to take a break here in our first intermission. And we'll be back with the second period of game number four in just a few minutes. Stay with us. Period number two coming up.
After 20 minutes of play, Southern Shore Breakers lead it 3-1. to one. They were on fire in that first period. Fell behind early. Cataract scored in the first minute. All breakers after that. And, Robert, as you and I were discussing during the break, they came, oh, so close to making it 4-1 to one in the last 30 seconds. Yeah, they had at least two opportunities down low. George, uh, one coming right across the crease. Nicholas was on the side. Looked like he was going to be able to bang one in. And then another opportunity and just went wide. And you mentioned... Uh, but a minute just before that, they had to hit the post. So there was a lot of things that took place in the last minute and a half, two minutes of that period. And the cataracts, I think, found themselves lucky just to be down 3-1. The other thing you brought up is the next goal is huge. Oh, yes. You fall behind 4-1. to one. It's going to be tough to come back. You make it 3-2, and you're right back in it. So let's see what happens. Again, Breakers trailing the series three games to none, trying to stay alive here tonight. Dumped in. Whiffin's got it and holds on. Just 15 seconds gone here in the second period. I think you're going to see the Breakers do more exactly what they just done then. Get that puck in on top of goaltender A.J. Whiffin, get him to play as often as he can, and get a four check, try to establish a four check down low. Face-off controlled by the Cataracts. Lindstrom hustling over here to the near boards to get to it. Lifts it up. Stays in play. Hit the dasher. And kicked away. Sims took his man hard to the boards. Yetman gave it away to Nicholas. Nicholas will clear it in. That was Kavanaugh. Was hit a moment ago by Sims. Got up quickly, back into the play. Cole in over the blue line. Cole knocked off his stick into the corner, plays it around behind the goal. Try to get it out in front. Brent's got it. Brent couldn't get a shot away, fed it in front, and it's cleared away by the breakers out. And on the fresh ice, it will go for icing. George looking at uh, Stephen Sims, who joined the Cataracts Christmas time, just after Christmas time. He had two solid body checks there then, and a little bit of jousting over by the... the Breakers bench, and as he was going to the cataract bench, he tried to fire up the troops and told me to do it. Gill behind the goal. Gill is bumped by Brown. McGurk in looking forward as well. McGurk along the board, cycles it back down low for Gill. Gill threw it out in front and went off the defenseman power, and Yetman had to make the save. Short pinches in, doesn't get it in deep. Breakers get it out down the ice, and once again, this will be an icing call against the Breakers. Almost a lucky break that time for the Cataracts as Gill came out short side. Came out short side uh, behind the back pass and uh, went in, hit off a Breaker defenseman and went into the pads of goaltender Mark Yepman just to his side, able to get it out away from Herm. And Breakers then cleared it down the ice. Breakers get to it off the faceoff, clear it down the ice, and I guess we're going to redo it. That will be an icing one. Three icings here in the first minute, 32 seconds of the second period. Kennedy, Nicholas, and Kavanaugh coming back out for the Breakers. Gil, McGurk, and Wicks for the Cataracts. Kavanaugh's got it. Pass hopped over the stick of Kennedy, but he'll get to it first. Kennedy working down into the corner against Hounsell. Hounsell takes him to the boards. Hounsell comes up with it. Gill. McGurk tried to feed it up ahead for Wicks. That was picked off by Oates. Now they go to an open wing. Kavanaugh back in his own end to pick it up. Kavanaugh swinging away from Gill. Watched by Brennan. Cataracts get that third line out. Daly had dropped his stick as he came off the players bench and the line change went back to pick it up and the breakers almost came down that left side we've seen a couple <laughs> of instances where been a loss of stick or a broken stick that's uh, resulted in some strange plays and that was uh, another one that cataracts found themselves a little lucky on gale into the middle for beard get his stick tied up and dally's away alex dally will dump it in he'll go into four check dally Comes up with it. Tried to get it to Bussy. Bussy back to Daly. Daly trying to step out of the corner. Knocked away from him. Lindstrom will hold it in. Back behind the goal. Bussy swung it out in front. Back at the point. Hoff. Off the end boards it came out. 
Netman had to be careful. Off the glass and out. Lindstrom. To Daly. Tried to feed it up ahead. Brennan had to tag up. Seems slightly ahead of the play. Fowler. Good pass. Chafe heading for the front of the goal. Beard with a shot high over the top of the goal. Fowler tried to hold it in. Got by him. Bussey trying to get to it. Breakers get to it first. Daly getting away. Bussey is 40 feet in over the blue line. Daly didn't bring it in. Now Bussey comes out. And the Breakers come up with another strange sort of play there, Robert. <laughs> Been a few of them. Yetman. Yetman in over the blue line. Patty Yetman. Shot. Missed the goal. Lindstrom waiting for it back here at the right point. Puts it back in behind the goal. Yetman is back there. Yetman. Tried to feed it back to the point. A good play by Dalton to break it up. Up ahead to Gale. Gale will flip it in. Dalton going into the corner against Hoff. Hoff takes him to the boards. Puck comes out in front. Lindstrom's got it. Got to be careful. Takes it back behind his goal. Off the boards. Cole turning at his blue line. Cole. Pass to Lindstrom. Lindstrom in over the blue line. Hard snapshot. Didn't miss by a whole lot. Short side, but it came out. Showed his strength there then as he was being checked. Was able to get that puck away. Sims in front. Yetman to Cole. Scores. Just a beautiful oh. play. But Georgia resulted in a turnover coming out over the blue line. They weren't able to get possession. And the cataracts were moving. Big goal for the Cataracts. They look to have a little more hop here in the second period. And as they as they cleared the zone drawers, they still they weren't ha they didn't have to stop. They were able to keep going, so their momentum ca carried them in the zone. Long pass doesn't work. Roddy Short has it. Short to Gill. Gill cut it back to Brent. Two cataracts collide, Gill and McGurk. And McGurk very slow to get up. He is badly shaken up, Robert. He's heading to the bench. Mike Brent just hit his own player as well. He made a check on Andre Gill. Gill. Kavanaugh fed it in front. Bear with a shot. Huge save by Wiffenus. The cataracts are Andre Gill is really in a little discomfort here, George. Gill and McGurk injured on that, that sequence. Both hit by their teammates. <laughs> It's a, tough Crazy. Enough, it's a tough enough game when you got to worry about the opposition, but you're on. But I was watching Andre Gill coming off, and he never had any any legs at all. And McGurk, who was trying to make a move on the inside, fell victim of his teammate as well. George, that was Gill and McGurk collided first. Tough shift for Andre Gill. He stays on the bench, yeah, as yeah. does McGurk. But, I mean, of all people to bang into, uh, big Mike Brandt. And then A.J. Whiffen with a huge save as the Cataracts Big were out save. of sorts. Had to prevent a goal. Brennan tried to get it out in front. Cadigan got to that. Comes back to Brennan. Bussy looking for it. Scramble around inside the blue line. Sent down the ice by Fowler. And once again, the Breakers forced to just ice it. 14.37 left to go in a wild game here at the Joe. Cataracts needed a answer back shift and that's exactly what they got after the goal was scored and a couple of good quick shifts and of course they came back and we talked about how the next goal was important well the next goal is always important and that was a very big goal for the Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts Lindstrom deflected that just went wide Thibault Cole gave him a bump Thibault kept on going Thibault out there with Hodge Two teammates on the CBS Blues this past year. Wicks. Wicks down the left side. Shot off a stick. Goes in behind the goal. Wicks still with it. Danny Wicks skating miles. In behind the goal. Back to Wicks. Wicks with a quick shot. And a save made by Yetman. Great shift by Danny Wicks. 
Skate Smiles does it all the time, but the thing is he never leaves the side of the puck, and as always, if he doesn't have it, he's puck pursuing, but he got after he made that pass, George, he went to a real good spot, soft part, got the puck back, good shot on goaltender Yetman, Yetman out over the blue paint, right in the bread basket, easy save. McGurka's back out, George, so that's good news for the Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts. As is Andre Gill. Yes. Nicholas in over the blue line shot. That didn't miss by a whole lot as it went over the top of the goal. Boy, he can fire it. Really quick brush shot, George. We've seen it a couple times last week, and we've seen it again here a couple times today. Another icing call, another break. Feeling hungry? Let us take care of you at Lefty's Pizzeria and Lounge, 24 Lincoln Road, Grand Falls, Windsor. Famous for our stone-baked pizza and our own Italian dough and secret sauce that's made fresh daily. Also try our garlic fingers, pastas, wings, nachos, lasagna, donairs, and even fresh homemade bread. Delivery is available starting at 4 p.m. and we now offer vicinity rewards. Get the best for your money at Lefty's Pizzeria and Lounge. Call 489-2944 to place an order. Danny Wicks with a shot on goal. The save was made by Yetman. We get a face off in the breaker's end. Yeah, McGurk and Gill both out there again for the Cataracts. Shaking up on their previous shift. Face off won by Nicholas. Kavanaugh turning in the corner. Kavanaugh flipping the puck high in the air out at center. Roddy Short waiting for it. Across to Greg Hoff. Hoff up ahead. Played in by Wicks. Yetman leaves it for Cadigan. Breakers move it out over the blue line. Oates dumps it in. Right on goal. Whiffin had to go off his glove and then had to cover it up. Looked like it went off the outside of his it trapper, did. George. It did. Strange man. A lot of different strange stuff going on in this the second period, George. But one thing, it's entertaining, if nothing else, for sure. I like the pace. I like the tempo. I really like a couple of the battles that we've seen now on the boards and a couple of heavy checks as well. Face-off won by the Breakers. Power with a hard shot. Whiffin made the save. It's loose in the crease. Now Whiffin's got it and covers it up. They come close. Big Brent in behind. Whiffin to provide some assistance. That was a great quick shot from the defenseman, the right defenseman here, George. Yeah, power is power. Able, able to get a lot on it and... Of course, down in front, A.J. Whiffen made the first save, and then as Chafe was in there trying to look for that rebound, it was between Whiffen's legs, but he was able to get it close, so he prevented another goal from going in. One goal game. They're going to send Daly out. Bossy will come in to take the face off against Chafe. Chafe won the last one cleanly back to power. This time Bussy wins it. Gets it to Brent up ahead. Daly. Daly clears it in. Brennan on his horse to go in into the corner. Leaves it there for Daly. Daly tried to feed it back to the point. It hit the referee. That pass was going to go to Mike Brent. Picked off at center. Brent's got it. Chips it up ahead. Sims. Daly overskated it. And Andrew Gale shot. Blocker save. Beard rings it hard around the boards. He'll be kept in by Fowlers. He hustled over. It's a little bump from Bussy into the skates of Brennan. Couldn't quite handle the pass. Brandt has it. He's got to go back behind the goal. Lindstrom went by everybody, saying it was touched. Well, he had a chance to touch it. Went yeah. back to his legs. Yeah, the breaker player. Right. That was a collision in behind the goal. Bussy and... Yetman, Fowler, Bussy still shoving in behind the goaltender. Meantime, play comes down the ice. They separate. Breakers come up with the puck. Tipped away. Fowler has it. Clears it back in. Delayed offside. Breakers tag up. Hounsell will take it back behind the goal. Came off a skate of Thibault and Cole. Cole with Yetman heading for the front of the goal. Pass doesn't get through. Two cataracts down low, and the breakers come out. Thibault. This guy can shoot it. Tried to make a pass. Hodge trying to get it out in front. It comes out in front. Whiffin's got it and holds on. George, just down behind the, 
And that is Galton and Mark Kentman was out to play the puck and Bussy and him collided then uh, Paul Fowler was under protecting his goaltender as he should and as Bussy was getting up he gave goaltender Mark Kentman who was already down a little push in the back and that always is uh, gets the area of the opposition for sure. over the blue line. Stephen Oates plays it back in a little bit further. Yetman's got to play. Gill in there looking for it. Yetman, good play over to Oates. To Nicholas. Nicholas looking far side. Put a well wide. That's blocked up. High comes out over the blue line. Gill tried to feed it up ahead for Wicks. They're saying Wicks got a piece of it, so no icing. Linesman call that immediately. Not sure, though. We got a high stick behind the play as well. George. Power did. The breakers player. Official is uh, not having any part of it. Kavanaugh turning. Gives it to Oates. Back to Power. Now he's got it. Good pass on the stick of Keenan Kennedy. Kennedy drop pass. Kavanaugh steps in. Save the puck is loose. Couple whacks at it. Three whacks at it. This is twice got the, it. It's twice the officials have been in the wrong side of the puck, George. Yeah, well, I don't think that was ever really covered, Robert. It wasn't, just like when we saw down here the other way. And, of course, one thing that you're told as an official is that if you do lose sight of the puck, yes, you're supposed to blow it down, but you also got to get yourself in a more advantageous position to see the puck. Referee stayed in the corner. We could see it from our vantage point, George, and obviously he couldn't see it from his. There's no question about it. So we can continue to go back and forth now between these two teams. Shots on goal, 19-17 favoring Southern Shore was 17-14 for the Cataracts a little while ago. Seen a number of little jousts after the whistle too, George. Uh, some disdain for each team here now, no doubt. And with each other now for four straight games. Daly puck goes up in the air. Bussy looking for it. Bussy gets it in over the blue lines. Goes to the boards. Daly in there looking for it. Comes free. Matthew Oates to Scotty McCarthy. McCarthy down in round behind the goal, working against Brent. Puck comes out in front. Daly's on it, moves it up ahead to Brent. Here's Mike Brent. Gets to center, dumps it in. Brent's going to go into forecheck. Yetman reads that, comes out and plays it. Bussy in looking for it. Oates played it back, almost turned it over. Hounsell comes back to get it. Officials made the, the safe sign on that dump in by Mike Brent. He was six feet on this side of the red line. Short. In on goal. Stephen Oates puts it up to center. Hounsell has it. Sam Hounsell backhands it in. Cataracts will change. Get the line of Cole, Yetman, and Sims out there again. And Daniel Cadigan up to Dalton, who's got himself a goal in this game. Back to Oates. He'll clear it in. Hounsell. Off the boards, almost gave it away. Yetman drops it back for Sims, up ahead to Cole. Michael Cole. Yetman was calling for it, went off a stick. Never did get to him. Yetman off the boards. Battling with Hodge. Hodge comes up with the loose puck. To Thibault. Sims took it away from him. Sends it down in behind the breaker's goal. Goaltender Yetman over to Ryan Power. Up at the blue line, Thibault, he's got to come back. Pass, Thibault took it off his skate. Goes into the corner with Lindstrom. Sims in there, pokes it free. Steven Sims. Up to Cole, cross-ice pass, nearly picked off. Lindstrom. But knocked off his stick. Cater exchange. Breakers bring it up the ice. Power hard shot. Whiffen came out. Rebound is there. Kavanaugh's on it. That went off McGurk. McGurk flips it up ahead. Danny Wicks one-on-one -on -one with Cadigan. Knocked off his stick in a good play. Daniel Cadigan solid as ever for the Breakers. Nice little poke check. Simple. Effective. Comes out. McGurk plays it back in. Then McGurk gets hit by Kennedy after he had cleared it in. And yeah, the Physical plays, picking up a little bit. Not surprised that one wasn't called, but that's fine. Long shot, cleared away by Whiffen. Up off the glass. Cadigan able to hold it in, then it's poked away from him. 
That came out over the blue line, so the Breakers will tag up. Short with it behind his goal. It's it to Brent. Brent pass went between the feet of Fowler, and that'll be an icing call. We'll take another break, Robert. Truck Month is back at Riverview Motors. Now is your best time to get into a new GM truck. Get 0% financing for up to 84 months on the 2019 LD Silverado and Sierra Limited Double Cab, plus $6,500 in credits. View the 2019 Silverado Custom and Sierra Elevation models, both with special 36-month lease offers from $109 weekly. More truck offers at Riverview Motors, Grand Falls, Windsor, celebrating 50 years in business. Pucking around behind the goal, Dally got it to Bussy, back of the point to Mike Brent. Brent with the big slap shot, no traffic in front. Breakers did a good job of clearing a lane for Yetman to see that. Once he can see it, he's going to make that save more times than that. One of the few times I've seen him miss one was the first shot of the game by Mike Brent, and uh, it eluded him somehow, but uh, he's after coming up with a couple of big crucial saves as, as A.J. Whiffin in. Down the stretch, both goaltenders are going to be kind of called upon quite often, George. Poked out at center. Roddy Short goes over to pick it up for the Cataracts. Up ahead, Bussy. Bussy gets free at center, gets it up ahead to Brennan. Brennan in there, drops it for Bussy. Bussy across in front, was looking for Dally. Yetman got a stick and poke checked it away. Bussy tried to play it back for Brennan. He didn't see it. Now the breakers with a chance. Hodge, Hodge, knocked down by Short. Comes right in front. That puck is still loose in front of the goal. Nobody can get a stick on it and walking away on it. Finally, the cataracts come up with it. About four guys swung at that loose puck. Nobody could make contact. Strike one, two, and three, <laughs> George. On that time, and you're out. But it was a turnover down low by the, the Southern Shore Breakers, and they just missed the puck. The cataracts had three men trapped deep, and all of a sudden, it got turned over over here, and it was a partial breakaway. Roddy Short got on his horse to do his best he could to get back to prevent breakaway. Then the puck lay there for... Must have seemed like an eternity to A.J. Wiff and nobody able to, to get their stick on it. And the Cataracts tried a drop pass just inside the blue line that misfired. And yeah, they don't work very it, often anymore. It went the other way. Dumped in right on goal. Lindstrom had to clear it out quickly. It's another one I think that A.J. Wiffen didn't know that he had. I hit the linesman on the dump in. Nicholas will get to it first for the breakers. Nicholas in around behind the goal. Jeremy Nicholas. Cycles it back down low again. Lindstrom around the board. Sims will get to it first for the Cataracts. Drops it back to Hounsel. Quickly across to Yetman. Yetman in over the blue line with Cole. Yetman threw it right in front off the stick of Mark Yetman. Hounsel. Lindstrom with a hard shot. That was knocked down in front. Cole with a chance. Big save by Yetman as he got the right pad down and robbed Michael Cole. He was looking far side. Brought back in by Lindstrom. Lindstrom down into the corner. Cole on it. Cole. To the middle. Back at the point. McGurk is back there. Lindstrom with a shot. That goes up over the top of the goal. Hoff will play it back down into the corner. Breakers will bring it out. Ryan Power faked the shot. Now he gets the shot away. Blocker save made by Whiff and Gill. They'll leave it. Lindstrom up ahead to McGurk. McGurk with a step. McGurk. It's trying to, to bring it in, and we're going to get our first penalty of the game. It's going to be a tripping penalty, George. Comes with 444. McGurk is going to the net, takes the puck to the net, and uh, stick got tangled into the foot, and that's pretty much an easy call for the official. Our first power play of the afternoon, George, as the Cataracts will go on the power play. 444 remaining here in the second. Scramble draw, one by the Cataracts. Gill off the boards, back to Roddy Short. Short. And on the boards, back for Gill, down low. Bussy to Gill. Short, shot, wide of the goal. Bussy looking for it. Pokes it to Wicks. Wicks, back behind to Bussy in the corner to Wicks. Wicks turning. Off the boards, back to Brent. Brent shot on goal. Yetman made the save. Puck just comes out over the blue line. Short's got it. Quickly across to Wicks. In it goes. 
Edman missed it. Comes up along the boards. Thibault. Gill closed on him. Back at the point. Short. Able to hold it in quickly across to Brent. Brent with some room. Hard shot. Big save made by Edman. He's come up big in the last couple of minutes for the breakers. He certainly has. Back at the blue line. Short holds it in. He'll shoot it. That one went wide. Then it's set on the mesh. I don't know. Maybe Yetman got a piece of it. Not sure because sure. it, it looked like it was there and came back. It was going wide. I was waiting for the puck to come out the other side. I was as well. I was waiting for it to at least hit the glass somehow, but it didn't hit anything. Cataracts come close. Mark Yetman. Three big saves in that sequence. Particularly the one off Mike Brent as he came out and challenged. And as anybody knows in this league, Mike Brent possesses a very hard, heavy shot. Goaltender Yetman took it off the shoulder, was able to keep it out and protect their 3-2 lead. Exactly one minute left to go in the penalty to the breakers. Yetman in behind the goal, McGurk missed it. Lindstrom will keep it in, up high. He's back at the point, Lindstrom held it in. Down to McGurk, back to Cole. Yetman's in front of the goal. Cole getting roughed up down in the corner. It's a battle, he in power. Yetman comes in, gets the puck, swings it over to the open side, Steven Sims. Doesn't get it down deep and the breakers will clear it out down the ice, just 22 seconds to go in the power play. Three minutes to go here in the second period. Cole cleared it in. Oates there first, and he'll have an easy time to get it out. Lindstrom back to get it. Wicks, penalty is now over. Wicks with a shot. Blocker saved by Yetman. Wicks to Patty Yetman. So the breakers have killed it off. And it's cleared out. Now we've got a race for it. Kennedy, Lindstrom. Lindstrom gets there first off the boards, but doesn't get it out. Kept in. Here's McCarthy with a shot pad save made by Whiffen. Fowler over on the far side. He's got it. Fowler working into a shooting position. That puck was loose and just cleared at the last second by Andre Gill. Wicks. Wicks with a shot. That one off of Gill. Gill's got it. Back for Roddy Short. Hopped over his stick and now Dalton is racing in. Roddy Short diving back to knock it away from Dalton. Great defensive play there by Short who was caught up ice. Right out in front, Whiffen makes the save. Brennan. Brennan swing wide against Cadigan. His shot missed the goal. Kept in by Gill. Gill towards the goal. That's knocked down and comes outside the blue line. Lindstrom sends it back in. This is an exciting period, George. Maybe the best period of the whole series, Robert. I really like this. Hodge. Watched by Cole, drops it back to Power. Power keeps it in, over to Fowler. Fowler thinking about shooting it, it went off of Lindstrom. Daly. Fowler does good work to hold the line. Puck just came out, but he prevented Yetman from getting away. Now it's kick free, Ryan Power. One minute to go here in the second period. Hoff, going to lug it out himself and poke checked at center. McGurk to Yetman, off the boards, Cole, down for McGurk, knocked away from him and out at center it comes, Sam Hounsel sends it back in again for the Cataracts, Yetman leaves it there for Brown. 30 seconds to go, turnover, Cole's got it, turning in the corner. Then he lost it. Yetman piling in there. Cole in there. Cole comes up with it back at the point. Lindstrom has shot. That just missed. Hounsell hustles over to hold it in. Puts it back in behind the goal. Yetman's got it fed it out in front. And it's tipped away. Just eight seconds to go. Lindstrom outside the blue line. Shoots it in. Yetman will catch it. Drop it there. And that's where the period will come to an end. And it was, as you said, Robert, a very good one. It was quite good, George. Very entertaining for the fans. There was a lot of everything that you would have wanted. There were some good hits. There were some nice saves, some good shots on net. And I really like the intensity level that we've seen amped up. 
Cataracts get on the board. Score the only goal of the period, a 4-0-1 Cole from Yetman and Sims, and just a one penalty in the period, and that going to the Breakers at 15-16 as McDonough gets two minutes for chipping as the Cataracts enjoyed the only power play of the evening. Shots on goal after two periods of play here at the Joe, 26-24 in favor of the Southern Shore Breakers. All right, folks, that was, a, as we said, a pretty exciting period of hockey. Cataracts cut into the lead. They trailed 3-1 at the end of one, got one back in the seconds. So that's going to set up, I think, a pretty exciting third it's period here gonna at the Joe Burn. A, it's going to be a great third period, George. All right, we'll be back in just a few minutes to bring you that third period. You're watching the 2019 Herder Memorial Trophy Championship Series, Game 4. 20 minutes plus, maybe, to go. Let's see what's going to happen. Will the Herder be presented tonight, or are we going to have to come back tomorrow afternoon? Last we'll know in the next little while. Stay with us.
20 minutes of regulation left to go. Breakers lead it 3-2 to two here in game four, trying to stay alive. They led it 3-1 to one after 20. Cataract's got the only goal of the second period. This should set up a dandy third. Robert? Well, George, we've been talking about it all series long. We talked about it at the outset of this game. And uh, I really like the intensity. I like the way that the both teams have battled here tonight. And this is going to be an exciting third period, to say the least. All right, one goal game. As I say, 20 minutes of regulation left. <clears throat> Face off one by Nicholas. Right off the bat, Cadigan has it back in his own end. Over to Power. Quickly up ahead. Kavanaugh will tip it in. Lindstrom back in his own end to pick it up. Lindstrom off the glass. Nicholas got his arm on it and held it in. Down into the corner. Jeremy Nicholas overskated it. Close quarters in there. Nicholas comes back to get it. Still, they'll battle along the boards. Kennedy, Lindstrom, puck comes loose, and Mike Brent's got it. Brent swinging away for the Cataracts. Brent up ahead. Just off the stick of Sims down in the corner. You could hear it tick as it went by. He did get a piece of it. Cole threw it out in front. That's picked off. Brent gets to it, clears it back in. It'll be a delayed offside. Sims got to it. He'll bring it in. Steven Sims. Around behind the goal, out in front for Cole. Yetman looking good in goal. Very calmly, just held his ground. Up ahead, here's Cole again. Yetman heading for the front of the goal, pass right to Yetman. Hodge got back to tie up Yetman, sticking a good defensive play. Late change. Off the stick of Dalton, out of play, and into the crowd here down to our left. And the faceoff will stay in the breakers end. Nice Wait. catch by the fan back there as well. But George, just part of that, the breakers were going up. They did not get the puck in deep. And, of course, Michael Cole stayed up on the blue line lurking behind the opposition. And they got caught with only three guys out on the ice at that particular point in time. Breakers. Pounce over the shot. A little high. Almost hit McGurk in front. Puck is cleared out. Roddy Short. Tipped in by Gill. McGurk goes in to forecheck. Yetman comes out to play it. Gets it to Brown. Came right out in front and cleared to the fireboards. Thibault couldn't get it out. Kept in by Short. McGurk tried to deflect it. He's knocked down. Wicks is on it. Behind the goal to McGurk. McGurk got it out in front, but the breakers intercept it and head up the ice. They're sent back. It's four turnovers for them, George. Just in a minute and a half, the breakers, they got to be a little bit better defensively. Long stretch pass, tipped in by Dalton. Whiffen kicks it into the corner. Thibault's on it first. He was hit by Short. Hounsell tried to play it out in front, turned it over. Breakers with a chance to the side of the goal, too. Wax at it, comes back at the point, kept in. Oates. Now the Breakers with pressure, comes right out front, backhand. Went wide as they hit the open net. Clear open net, George. I thought it was in the net. Great opportunity for the Breakers. Hodge hit against the boards. Down to Thibault. Dally's on him. Dally plays it to the boards and it'll come out. Oates has got it. Stephen Oates fires it in off the end boards. Lindstrom takes it off his skate and behind the goal. Lindstrom slow to move and has it taken away. Chafe to Gale. He lost it. Dally's got it. Dally turning in the corner. He's hit by Beard. Beard threw it out in front. Breakers with all kinds of pressure right now. Cycle it down low. Picked off. Cataracts just got it out. Just a calamity of errors, George. Stephen Oates behind his goal. Just over three minutes gone here in the third. Breaker still leading it by one. Turnover at center. Yetman's got it. Yetman will bring it in. Slap shot. Save made by Mark Yetman. Round the boards. Out towards the blue line, kept in by Brent. Brent lifts it high in behind the goal. It bounces off the dash, almost came out in front. Here's a chance for Cole. Yetman with another big save. Again, they trade chances. Bounces in front. Cole with another chance. Couldn't get the puck to settle. Yetman tried to play it back to short. That's picked off. Gale knocked down by Brent. Brent gets to center. That hit Oates. Roddy Short has got it. Short back hands it in. That line will head off. Michael Cole with a couple of good chances. 
Oates. Hit a skate. McGurk had a chance. He missed it. Nicholas gets it up ahead. Keenan Kennedy swinging wide against Brent. Go into the corner. Brent with a big hit on Kennedy, but Kennedy shakes it off. Right back in it. Wicks heads up the ice for the Cataracts. Wicks with Gill. Wicks with a shot. That one off a stick. Gill's got it in the corner. Tried to play it back in behind the goal. Taken there by Cadigan. The head to Kennedy. Kennedy. Easy wrist shot. Save made by Whiffen. He'll hold on to it. What a third period we've had already. Just four and a half minutes in. George, both teams in their defensive zone weren't able to clear the puck with multiple opportunities to do so. They turned the Cataracts turned it over at least two, if not three times. Down in her own zone, Nick Lindstrom had lost the puck, and then, of course, Michael Brandon lost. And then, of course, we come back down into the offensive zone for the Cataracts, or defensive zone for the Breakers, and they did the same thing. Breakers won the faceoff, but it got past Power at the blue line, so he's got to go all the way back deep in his own end to go pick it up. Ryan Power. Dumped in. Bouncing puck. That took a funny bounce on the last one, and Whiffen had to be really careful. He had to be alert, George. It looked like it was going wide originally, and uh, not sure what happened as it kind of rubbed in the ice or somebody to redirect right back towards him, and he had to be very careful. Wicks down the left side. Wicks from a sharp angle. Pad was, sorry, pad save was made by Yetman. The rebound was there for just an instant. Stolen away by McGurk. McGurk in there with Gill. McGurk off the stick of power wide. McGurk's got it. Tried to feed it back for Hounsell. That was picked off. Here's Blake Dalton in over the blue line. Pass didn't work. McGurk has it. Up ahead. Picked up by Brennan. Andrew Brennan. Drops it back for Bussey. Bussey steps in. Shot. Save made by Yetman. Thibault. Down into the corner. Hoff on it. Hoff up along the boards. Couldn't get it out. Daly. Alex Daly to the boards. Goes and gets it himself. Might have been a little bit of a hook collision there. Bussey and Beard. Puck comes free, here's Beard, one-on-one -on -one with Hoff, Beard with a shot, save is made by Whiffen, off the boards, Cole's got it. Michael Cole, in over the blue line. Cole, Daly heading for the front of the goal. Bussy, shot from a sharp angle, easy save. And the breakers get the rebound, off the boards, get it out, knocked down there by Brent. Brent, off the boards, will clear it in, Cataracts will change. Ryan Power. Pass too far for Beard. Brent gave it away. Beard's got it. Beard out in front. Cole comes back to help out. Flips it off the boards. The Cataracts will get it out. Yetman. Patty Yetman in over the blue line. Yetman making a move. Yetman with a great move. A shot. Rang it off the outside of the post. Breakers our way. Nicholas surrounded by three Cataracts. Puck goes into the corner. On it first. Lindstrom. Too far for Sims down the ice. It'll be an icing call against the Cataracts. Great little move inside out by Patty Yetman. It was a great little move, George, and uh, never had much of an angle, but was able to put it off the post. I think goaltender Mark Yetman may have had the angle cut down, but uh, yes, a nice move. See him come from the middle of the rink out to his outside. Quick put it through the skates and quality shot. 13.09 to go in the third period. Short. Up ahead to Gill. Gill. Wicks managed to get a stick on it. Oates. Wicks trying to catch up to him. Oates off the boards. Wicks gets to it. Cadigan. Up to Kavanaugh. He'll flip pass through center. Was looking for Kennedy. It'll be picked up by Nicholas. Nicholas working in a shot. That went wide. Kavanaugh. Swinging wide, Kavanaugh cutting inside of Roddy Short. Kavanaugh with a good move, didn't get away. A great shot, put it wide, but a good rush. Wicks bouncing puck in wide of the goal. Yetman knocks it down, leaves it. Four Oats out at center. Andrew Brennan has it. Brennan back in his own end. Gives up to Lindstrom. Lindstrom around the boards. Roddy Short off the boards, gave it away. Here's a chance. Tibbo pass across. Dalton 
Out in front for Thibault, and Whiffen with a big save as the Cataracts with a terrible turnover in their own end. Roddy Short, George, previous to that, he was over on the right-hand side and just got turned the wrong way. He went outside when the puck is coming inside, just not sure why. And then, of course, right here, simple play. It was a nice chip behind from the D-man, go D to D, which is the safest way to go. He just put it off the boards just blindly and, of course, got picked off. Going to redo the face-off. Resulted in a great scoring opportunity for the Breakers as they were down then on a two-on-one. Just happened to never get a good pass across, and A.J. Whiffen had still come up with a good save. Face-off win for the Breakers. Shot. Save made by Whiffen. Hoff. Gets it out. Gets past Brown. Into the Cataract's end. Collision there, Hodge and Hoff. Hoff goes down. Hodge up with the puck. Threw it right in front looking for Dalton. Back to power. Power winds up. That was blocked by Hoff. Up ahead. Bussy. Daly cutting for the front of the goal. Here's Daly. Daly put it wide. Bussy trying to get it out in front. Down the ice. This will be an icing call against the Breakers. Great chance for Alex Daly. George get it on target. Just part it out. That was as a heavier hit as I've seen here in a long time. I watched Greg Hoff as he was looking at Hodge in the corner, and he made a beeline for him and two heavy guys. And as anybody knows, when Greg Hoff goes to hit you, it hurts. But he definitely went in hard. But Hodge stood his ground and definitely got the better of that one. Brent and along the boards. Looking for Yetman. Here's Andrew Gale. Gale, shot, save made by Whiffen. He'll cover up the rebound. Cataracts are getting caught on the weak side now, George. They're not backing out quick enough. And one of the things is, if the puck is on the strong, wherever the puck is, it's called the strong side. And, of course, the, that means the demon on the other side has to recognize that and back up. And they're not doing it. And they're getting caught. Really, not up ice a lot, but it could result in a two-on-one. That one wasn't quite as bad, but it could certainly eventually lead to something like that. Another face-off win. Oates winds up. Save made by Whiffen. That was a good low shot right on target. It was, not he had to fight to see that puck. Beard will clear it in. We'll go to the other side. Gail and Yetman over there. Kept in. Sims just gets rid of it, and Beard sends it back in. Doesn't get it deep. Mike Brent's got it off the boards to Yetman. Kept in, Sims, put it well wide of the goal. Short's gonna pinch in. Short able to hold it in momentarily. Short's got it again and puts it down in deep. Sims waiting for it. Steven Sims, Cole tried to get it in front for Yetman. Cole's got it again. Cole tried to get it out in front. Good defending by the breakers. Brent's got it. Winds up, shot right on goal. Save made by Yetman. Kennedy, McGurk watching him. Kennedy, to the side of the goal. Whiffen's got it and covers it up. We are down to 10.03 to go in the third. 3-2, Southern Shore Breakers lead it. Kennedy was looking for puck support there, George, and uh, he was hoping that Nicholas was going to follow him down. Nicholas decided to stay up high, so Kennedy decided to just take to the neck, use his back end, get down on goaltender. A.J. Whiffen, never a bad play. Kennedy, or Kavanaugh rather, able to control it back at the blue line, then brings it down in deep, try to feed it out in front, stopped there by Lindstrom. Lindstrom uh, clears it out into the stands. Everybody seems to be okay. Faceoff will stay in the cataracts, and the Breakers are winning faceoffs again, Robert. Well, and, and that's very key right here now. Not only winning faceoffs, but then getting some real good puck possession and getting pucks to the net. And when you're chasing the puck defensively, that's what tars you. Wicks off the boards, picked up here by Andre Gill. Gill in over the blue line, overskated it, stays with it, puts it right on goal. Yetman's got it. Mark Yetman looking very good since giving up that second goal. Yeah, He's been solid. I think so, George. And it, it, what I look at in Mark Yetman, and you can tell the most gold is when they're confident, is that you're getting it in the middle of the midsection all of the time, very few rebounds, and you're able to corral it and just be calm. And that's what we're seeing right here now from goaltender Yetman. Another faceoff win by Hodge. Backhanded out, Hounsell waiting for it, gets it to settle. 
Moved it up ahead, was looking for Andre Gill. McGurk with it to Wicks. Wicks will send it in off the end boards. Fowler. Up for Thibault. Hounsel shut that down. Breakers come up with the loose puck at center. Hounsel got a stick in the way of that as well. Up ahead for Gill. Gill turning. Gill taken by Wicks. Wicks cutting in. Great poke check by Merrick Edmund. Phenomenal. Dalton in over the blue line. Dalton with room. Dalton with a shot. Just missed. Cadigan down into the corner. Puck goes down in the corner and then back out. Cadigan's got it at center. Breakers are changing. Hoff bouncing puck. Yetman's got it. That'll be a faceoff. In the breakers and shots on goal, 35-34 favoring the breakers. It's been close all game. And yeah, it's only been a three or four shot difference the whole time, George. And uh, I think that's what's going to be. The official's not going to allow this change now. They've had an opportunity to make their change. Oats and power sent back to the bench. Brennan down in the corner. Brennan cycling it back there. Bussy fed it out in front. Nobody in the slot for the Cataracts. It's clear. Rolling puck. That'll go all the way down the ice, and it'll be an icing call against the Breakers. Let's get one more break in. Kelly's Bar on Hill Road is the place to be in Grand Falls, Windsor. They've got a fully stocked bar to suit anybody's taste, including six varieties of draft beer on tap. There's always a friendly staff on hand to serve you with a smile and a big, beautiful outdoor deck. Watch their Facebook page for daily specials, karaoke every Thursday evening, and of course, Kelly's is famous for its live music every weekend. Something for everyone at Kelly's Bar, Hill Road in Grand Falls, Windsor. Shot from Lindstrom went off a stick and up and out of play. So the faceoff again to the right of Mark Yetman. Nicholas again, he does that a lot. He'll win the faceoff with his skate. That went off of Yetman. Kavanaugh's got it again, brought it in. But Kennedy was trapped in over the blue line. And now Kavanaugh and Sims have a few words. They've uh, had some battles on my line drawers facing each other quite often as these lines are trying to match up against each other. This is a strong line here for the uh, two number one units, I would think, going out here now against each other. The Nicholas line up against the Sims line. Another face-off win. Sims wasn't happy about how that face-off was taken. No, it was a poorly dropped puck to begin with, George, and uh, he never had his stick quite down uh, as the forward for the breakers did. Sims going back to the officials now, still complaining about the way the faceoff was done, but this one will be but deep in Cataract's territory, and again, Nicholas has been winning a lot of these faceoffs. He's good. This time, Sims wins it. Big faceoff. Lindstrom up ahead. Cole, he couldn't handle it. Up at the blue line, Kavanaugh will play it in. Back to get it. Mike Brent. Out at center. Yetman will leave it. Cole. Gonna be a hand pass. That's yeah, a good call there by the official in the back official. Face off just outside the Cataract's blue line. Face offs are critical now, George, as well as discipline. What I mean by discipline is getting off before you're tired. Anybody can get off when they are tired, but you need to get off just prior to being tired because you don't want to get caught looking at someone's numbers. If you do, puck is gonna be in the back of your neck. Hodge won the face off. Cadigan sends it in over the top of the goal. Lindstrom's on it. Comes out towards the blue line. Kept in. Cleared in front. Lindstrom clears it away from in front of his goaltender and down the ice. Braden Brown to Chris Hodge. Off a stick and down in deep. With an out to leave it there for Mike Brent. Breakers will keep it in. Puck bouncing around out towards the blue line. Kicked out by Cole. Now it's a two on one. Yetman shoots. Big save by Mark Yetman. Stood his ground. 
He has been so good in this game. This has been his best game in the series. Yeah, he's phenomenal saves. Those are tough shots, George. Gill. Wicks catching up. Leaves it for Wicks. Wicks from a sharp angle. Didn't get much of a shot away. Goes over to the fireboard. Cycles it back down low looking for Gill. McGurk has got it. Kyle McGurk behind the goal. Wicks. Wicks with his shot. Yepman got a piece of that. Back for Hounsel. Towards the goal. It was deflected up in the air. Yepman didn't see it. Kept it out. Six bodies there. Body short. The stick explodes. Stick went further than the puck. And Roddy Short comes over and puts a hit on Thibault in a good play without the stick. Now he's got a new twig. McGurk reaching for it. McGurk's got it away from Fowler. McGurk all alone, though. In around behind the goal, he still got it. Gill. Back to McGurk, a shot. Rebound. Poke free. Aylward has it. Cataracts come close. Hounsel go back in his own end. Breakers need to get a change. They do. A lot of battles in front of the net now, George. I really like it. Bussy will chip it in. Daly going into forecheck. Yetman, good play. Comes out. Lindstrom gets it back down in deep. Cadigan around the boards. Bussy's waiting for it there. Bussy back down for Daly. Cadigan plays it here into the near corner. Fowler's hurt too, George, as well from the check from Bussy on the side. Pinching in, Lindstrom. Back in around behind the goal. Cole tried to throw it out in front. Chafe. Cataracts buzzing. Chafe with a good move. Gets himself free. Chafe then overskated it off the boards. Finally gets it out. The breakers are away. Here's McCarthy. Scott McCarthy working on Brent. Fed it in front. Lindstrom got back. Back in behind the goal. Jeremy Nicholas back there. For the breakers, Nicholas. Up along the boards, Bussy. Tried to play it around behind the goal. It came off the boards out in front of Whiffen had to tie it up. One thing, George, you look at the strength of Jeremy Nicholas as he was down low, Mike Brent was trying to get the puck from, but he protected the puck so well. And you think about it right now, George, we're in crunch time here now, under five minutes. And now is when you really have to be so very protective of the puck. You cannot turn pucks over in any part of the ice. Another face-off win for the Breakers. Puck goes in behind the goal. Nicholas has got it. Jeremy Nicholas circling goal. Gets out in front. Nicholas with a shot. Whiffen makes the save and covers up. George, the last three face-offs down to A.J. Whiffen's right has been won by the Breakers. The only other one prior to that was Stephen Sims had won it and each time resulted in a shot on net for the Breakers. That's something the Cataracts are going to need to address. Lofted high in the air, knocked down. Up ahead, Thibault got a stick on it. The puck goes down into the cataracts end. Sims. Good pass, right on the stick of Andrew Brennan. Brennan in over the blue line, dumps it down into the corner. Yetman, right out in front, that hit the post to the side of the goal, and then it's cleared away, and now the breakers come out. Here's Thibault, Thibault, shot scores! George, the cataracts defenseman, two cataracts defensemen got caught watching the play. 15 feet inside of the blue line. You just can't do that. That is just unheard of. And Thibault, maybe with the backbreaker in this one. And Roddy Short. Set up a game Roddy tomorrow. Short today. A.J. Whiffen's legs, one that I'm sure that he would like to have back. But if you get caught puck watching, which what happened on that particular instance, it results in a turnover. I just finished saying, you got to protect the puck. You can't turn it over on any of the ice. It results in a goal. Four minutes to go, just under four. Huge goal for these Southern Shore Breakers. Gill. For Daly, McGurk. Couldn't get a stick on it. Comes back at the point. Brent has got it. Brent off the end boards. Gill. Breakers goal. Score. 
Back at the point, Lindstrom with a shot towards the front of the goal. Wicks had to go between his skates, it's still loose. Wicks on the backhand, back to Lindstrom, back to Wicks. His shot, save made by Yetman. Kavanaugh has it down the length of the ice, and that'll be an icing call. 324 left to go, Cataract stand by two. When do you think about taking out A.J. Whiffen? It's got to be, uh, I'm looking around the, the three-minute mark, George, and I'm going to tell you, for the next minute and a half, it's going to be a big determination when they do take A.J. Whiffen out. But it is going to be a battle down low right now. It's all guns a blazing for both teams. Brent towards the goal. Knocked down. Getman had his stick lifted. Couldn't come up with it. Whiffen still in the goal. Lindstrom in behind to Sims. Getman. Patty Getman. Off a skate and out. That went off of Beard. And now we're Race Gale trying to get himself free. Andrew Gale knocked off the puck, but is dumped back in again. Under three to play now. Next possession now, A.J. Whiffen's got to get out of the net, George. Cole in behind the goal. Sims. I'm surprised he's not out yet. Beard has it. Beard. Three on one setting up here for the breakers. Beard keeps it, shoots. Hit the goal post. Goal post late went on. It did not go in, and he got creamed. Long pass up ahead. McGurk's onside. Yetman trying to catch up. Pass for Yetman. Power got back to break it up. Yetman. Flip pass. Hounsel's in there. Threw it in front. Off a skate. Down the ice. That'll be an icing call. A.J. Whiffen was starting to come out. He was, George, but the cataracts got caught again. It was a turnover. And, of course, it resulted in a three-on-one, and they played the three-on-one to perfection, hit off of the post, came right back out, and, of course, because they had three guys down low in the defensive, actually was following up on the play. McGurk, who was left behind the play, almost had himself a breakaway. Going to have a timeout here now, Cataracts. Timeout. Wayne, our cameraman, if you can, while we've got a little break, just uh, take a quick pan to your left and to your right to the, uh, the crowd that's here on, on this, side of the, this side of the ice. And as you can see, it is full on this side. Yeah, it certainly is. It's a, uh, and I'm going to tell you, to George, there's not many people left this building. It's 4-2 now, 2-14 remaining. But it's been an exciting game either way you cut it. And depends on who comes out of here victorious That's tonight. Right. But it's been a great game. Right now, we talked about face-offs, George, and to A.J. Whiffen's right, this is going to be down to to goaltender Yetman's right, but the Cataracts don't have a right-handed center, and therefore, face off to your goaltender's right, you'd break to have a right-handed centerman, because that's on his strong side. They don't have one. All right, Whiffen's on the bench. This is where goaltender Mark Yetman is going to have to earn his keep now, George, because this is going to be a battle. Well, he has earned it this evening. He has had a very strong game. Lindstrom trying to hold it in. Cole is over there. They'll hold it against the boards. Time ticking away. A whistle goes. 2.04 to go. That took 10 seconds off the clock. Well, and the breakers are in no rush to move that puck. They, they don't care about that puck being stuck there. 30, 40 seconds go by. <laughs> and I was surprised that the official did blow it down, George. Normally, the official would go over and yell at the players, move it, move it, move it. I'm not blowing it down. Dirk against... Nicholas, Nicholas wins it. Cadigan around the boards. Kennedy on it. Short. Couldn't hold it in. Battle for it inside the blue line. Again, time winding down as it's dumped in behind the Cataracts and Lindstrom. Tipped up ahead. Gets past Wicks. Cadigan back there. Wicks cutting inside of Cadigan. Wicks pokes it free. It's to the side of the goal. Taken and cleared out. Down the ice, this will go wide of the goal. This will be another icing call against the Breakers, but we are down to a minute 30. Yeah, and you know something right here now, George? I don't think that you're going to see the Breakers make a timeout. I don't think that they want to because they know that the number one unit for the Cataracts has been out for 45 seconds. They don't need a timeout. Yeah, they've had to switch it. Well, no, Getman comes back out. I'm going to move Brent. He'll be the fourth forward along with... Yetman, Cole, Sims, Short, Brennan. Brent behind the goal. Cole has got it. He's had a strong game for the Cataracts. Back for Sims. 
Sims with a shot, save, rebound. Oh, what a save by Mark Edmund as he robs Patty Edmund. Got his glove that, on it. That was headed for the top corner. It looked like a goal for sure. His best of the game, and he's had some dandies already. He has. Puck bounces back at the point. Short's got it. Over here to Sims. Sims, it's rebound. Loose. Brent had a whack at it. Yetman made another save. Mark Yetman has been phenomenal in this game. No George, racing. George, it was a shot. He made the initial save, and then he kicked out the left pad to make the other one. But the previous one, I've had a Yetman. We could see it from our vantage point. Never got a lot on it, but it was going for that glove side corner top, and Yetman got his glove on it, George. Just previously said he's going to earn his keep. He's earned his keep, and then some. Under a minute to play now. Robert? You any plans for tomorrow afternoon? Uh, right now I don't. I'll, ma I'll watch the Masters after the game, though. Kavanaugh has a look at the empty net and just puts it wide. And, George, you know, one time before, coaches used to really have a disdain for that. They don't anymore. Statistics have shown that the longer you hold on to the puck, worse. there's nothing wrong with icing that puck. Not at all. Especially when you're winning most of the faceoffs. Well, that's that's key. That helps a lot. Again, it's going to be McGurk against Nicholas. Nicholas out muscles everybody for the puck. Down in behind. McGurk's got it. Tried to get it out in front. It rattles around to the side of the goal. Comes free here in the near side. 30 seconds to go. McGurk trying to get it out in front. Short. Shot towards the goal. That's cleared away. Kavanaugh's got it. Kavanaugh will send it down the ice. Well, Robert... 1.30 tomorrow. I guess we're going to be back. Again, it goes wide. So they're just announcing now when the tickets go on sale tomorrow for game five of this series. It will not be a sweep. Long shot. One more save by Edmund. And the celebration is on hold. The Breakers spoil the party tonight. Not an easy chore to come into the Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium to win any game, particularly when you're down by three to win. You have to give full credit to these breakers here this evening. What a tremendous effort, a tremendous game all around. And, of course, goaltender Mark Getman did everything, stand on his head and spit nickels. <laughs> the only thing that we have in the period was the breakers at 15-54. Not sure who scored the goal. It was Tibble. Tibble, okay, because I'm just looking at a blank sheet. Other than that... <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, Benny didn't. Benny, have it. Benny. <laughs> I'm gonna blame Benny. Okay. Well, I mean, he. He's yeah, it's Kyle Tibble with the, uh, with that fourth goal. It was, yeah, it, it was Tibble, and it was a nice play down low. And of course, just prior, just after that, they hit the post again. Cataracts had a number of opportunities. The Breakers did. George went for a beauty tomorrow. Yeah, it was a great game tonight. It was an exciting one to call for sure. And the Breakers, I said Dylan Thomas wrote, "Do not go gentle into that good night." You would bring, know. A, bring out a little Welsh poetry here to oh. uh, finish poet, the evening off. The Poet Laureate. <laughs> All right, folks. Again, less than 24 hours. We're going to have to come back and do this again. 1.30 tomorrow afternoon. It's exciting. Here at the Joe. See if the Breakers, if they can win, we have to go to St. John's next week. Or actually, we'll go to Kellegrews. The right. game is at the, uh, if it goes to game six, it'll be at the, the CBS Arena Easter in weekend. So it is? It is Easter right, weekend. And that'll be Saturday, Sunday. If we get that far. We'll find out it's a ways by tomorrow afternoon. We invite you to come back and join us then. We'll be on the air at around 1.20 with our pregame show and get you set up. I don't know what else we can say about this one. It is what it is, and uh, these two teams are getting used to each other. Tune in, and if you didn't, you know, for those of you who are, right, see, uh, tickets are on sale 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, if I heard John Thompson correctly. I didn't quite catch the announcement. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. if you're here in Grand Falls, Windsor to get the tickets. Four more. Good crowd here tonight. And uh, expect another good crowd tomorrow. It'll be a oh, Sunday, sure. maybe a little tougher, but still, I expect it'll, a good it'll crowd. It'll be a good crowd. All right, folks, we're going to call it a night for Robert Golding and cameraman Wayne Lynch. My name is George Scott. We'll see you again 1.30 tomorrow. Game five. It's getting better. <laughs>